guys. Happy Wednesday, or is it Thursday? I don't know. I think it's Wednesday, but uh, you guys know what day it is. <laughs> I'm sure. I think it's Wednesday. So happy Wednesday. I'm just on here to give you guys a quick message from a dream that I had in the wee hours of this morning um, that is going to bless who it's for. Every time I get on here, guys, it's like I cannot talk. Uh, so Holy Spirit, speak through me. Um, but this message is going to bless you. Um, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Um, shout out to all of the people that have been emailing me. Um, I just received an email a few minutes ago from someone by the name of Alexis. Um, and I just want to thank you for your email, Alexis. I have read it. I did not respond but God is definitely using you because that email came at the perfect time. So thank you. You know who you are. Um, but I'm so grateful for all of you guys and your emails and your love. Some messages are just to encourage um, some prayer requests. But again, I'm thankful for all of you guys. And if you ever want to reach me by email, my email address is in the about section of my YouTube profile. It's face to faith at gmail.com. So you guys can email me. Um, I do have some exciting news for you guys because um, so many people have been asking me about dream interpretation and they want to speak to me on so many different levels about so many different things. Um, so the Lord did put it on my heart today and he is releasing me to open back up my coaching sessions, but he's totally shifting my life coaching. For those of you that don't know, I am a certified life coach, um, and I've had that on hold for a while, just trying to see where God leads me. And he is leading me to do dream interpretation coaching as well as purpose coaching to help people find their purpose and walk boldly in it. So that is something that I've been working on today um, that was actually dropped in my spirit late last night and this morning. Um, so I'm in the process of revamping my website and changing so many different things. Um, so I'll release that to you guys when it is finished. Um, so for those of you that have been asking, the Lord has released me to do um, dream interpretation coaching and purpose coaching, just helping people walk boldly in their purpose and their calling and helping you guys to understand your calling or find your calling if you're not sure what God is calling you to do. So that is where he's leading me with that, guys. So I'm super excited. Um, wherever he's going to take that um, business and that part of my life, I'm open to it. I'm just going to let him lead. But I know so many people have emailed me and you guys have been asking like about one-on-one -on -one sessions and different things. And yeah, that's where I am with that. So super excited. I will let you guys know when everything is done and set up. And yeah, looking forward to actually meeting you guys um, virtually, of course. Um, but yeah, I'll give you more information on that. I also have a book that will be released to the public within the next month or so. Um, I have a few copies. It's called She Is Me, But He Is I Am. And it's 52 days of building. This is a devotional, guys, that the Lord dropped in my heart last year to write. And I had never considered myself a writer, but he told me to write. And he had me finish this book on... Actually, he released this um, vision to me at the end of 2020. He had me finish this book on April 4th of last year, which was Easter, Resurrection Sunday. And I finished the book on 4-4, so it will be released to the public via Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, as well as many other avenues within the next few weeks. So I'm super excited about this devotional. Um, again, it's a 52-day devotional, and I won't get into too much detail about it because I'll get into more details when it's released. But it's a 52-day devotional and a workbook, and it will change your life, guys. The Lord literally put every single word in my mouth and in my pen to write this book. And these are the things that he used or the steps that I took when I was recovering from rejection, from hurt, from um, heartbreak, from just everything. So if that is you, this devotional will help you. And I will let you guys know when that's releasing as well. So the Lord is doing some major things. Um, he is just awesome. All glory goes to him. 
Um, but yeah, I'll release more information about that. But let me get into this dream and the interpretation of the dream because this is for not just me. This is for some of you guys. And take it to God. As always, you guys hear me say on my channel to take every prophetic word back to God, even the ones that you know it's for you, take it to him and just let him speak with you intimately and download more about the dream and what he has for your set life. But this is for just more than me. Um, and I had this dream in the wee hours of this morning, in which today is 119. So yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to release this to you guys and I'm multitasking guys. So I'm working and talking to you. Um, and it's rainy outside in case you guys hear some noise in the background. It's kind of stormy outside and I'm sitting next to a window. Um, but let's get into it because this was a good dream. It was a parable dream, of course. So I had to let him download the meaning um, of this dream to me, but it's going to be a blessing. So let's get into it, y'all. So in this dream, and I'm looking down, guys, because I have it written. <clears throat> Excuse me. I dreamed that I was in a high rise apartment building with a friend of mine who's my friend in real life. Her name is Hepsibeth. But she goes by Epi, E-P-P-I-E, but her actual name is Hepsibeth. That's important in this dream, so keep that in mind. So we were in a beautiful high-rise, and she was showing me around her high-rise apartment, and it was gorgeous. It had doors almost like around the whole entire high-rise, doors and windows. Um, some doors went out to the balcony. Some doors just went just opened up to outside, but there was doors and windows, like floor to ceiling doors and windows around this whole high rise. And it was gorgeous. And I remember opening up the door, uh, opening, opening up one of the doors in the high rise. And when I opened this door, it was, there was a very narrow ledge, right? To step on. And if you step too far off of that ledge, you would fall off. Um, so I remember quickly closing the door because I was like, I'm not stepping out there. We're already very high up and we were super high up, guys. So I remember closing the door and then Epi pushed her desk, like a computer desk in front of the door. And she said she wanted to put the desk there so that she could work in that area, but no one would open the door to go out that way or to look outside because she didn't want anyone to fall down, right? So I was like, okay, cool. I remember going out to another door. It was a full balcony, so you can walk out on it. It was surrounded by railing, so it was safe. I remember standing on a balcony in this high rise, and just the, the high rise was gorgeous, guys. And I remember there being a baby girl, right? It kind of switched scenes. Like I was still in this high rise apartment, but it switched scenes to where this baby girl was um, next to the stairs in the high rise. And this stairs was like almost like a spiral staircase going all the way down, but it was a long stairwell. And this little baby girl, I think she walked to the stairwell and I remember grabbing her and holding on to her for dear life because I knew I couldn't let this baby girl go. And this baby had to be like maybe one years old. She was really little. Um, and I was holding on to her for dear life. I knew I couldn't let her go because she would literally fall down this entire flight of stairs. And the stairs was so long, guys, because again, we were in a high rise. And however this high rise was designed, this staircase kind of like spiraled down. So it was super long. And I remember holding on to her. And I also remember in the dream that the baby that I was holding on to belonged to my nephew. His name is Daquan the baby belonged to him. And that's all I remember about this dream, right? So I'm going to break it down to you guys how the Lord broke it down to me. The high rise, a high rise building, if you look up the definition of a high rise, it says a building having many stories, right? That's the definition of a high rise, a building having many stories. The Lord is saying that a lot of you guys, he's getting ready to raise up really high, guys. That's why that high rise, that's why it was a high rise. He's rising you guys up, right? And you are going to have many stories, as in many testimonies, guys. 
So he's raising you guys up. He's raising many of you up and you know that it's your time. You feel it in your spirit. He's been speaking to you, but he's raising you up, okay? And he had me look up the definition of rise. It means to leap, to grow, to increase, to advance, to escalate, to improve. He is rising you guys up and you will have many testimonies as in stories to tell about your journey that God has took you through, okay? And where he's brought you. A high rise, guys, again, a building having many stories. And the Lord showed me this because he said he's raising up a lot of us in this season and you will have many stories to testify about, many testimonies, okay? And you guys know that he speaks to me in parables, so follow me. He is rising you guys up, okay? The view in this high rise was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful high rise. The view was so nice, guys. And it's funny because in real life, I've always wanted to live in a high rise and God knows this about me. Like I've always wanted to live in a high rise, but he's saying your view is going to be beautiful beyond words, guys. It's going to be beautiful, but every door that you're presented with as he rises you up is not a door for you to walk out of. That's why in this high rise, there was that one door that I opened with a very narrow like um, place to step out to. And I knew that if you stepped out too far, you can fall. So that's why in the dream, my friend Epi, aka Hepsabeth, put a desk in front of that door. And she said she didn't want anyone to go out because she knew they would fall and she didn't want them to fall. So she didn't want anyone to go out of that door. So keep in mind that in this time of him raising you up and everything being beautiful and you being blessed and having many testimonies, every door that's presented before you is not for you to open and walk through. Okay, guys, bring everything back to God. I don't care how good it feels, how good the opportunity looks. Bring that back to God. Do not open or step through every door that's presented before you just because you're in a good place. It looks good. It sounds good. Take it back to God, okay? Now, it's funny because Epi, who is my friend in real life, her real name is Hepzibeth, right? Epi, aka Hepzibeth in Hebrew, means her is my delight or my delight is in her. And it's a surname of Hepzibah, which is actually in the Bible, okay? It means her is my delight or translated my delight is in her, okay? Guys, to delight in someone means to please them greatly, to take their breath away in a good way, okay? It means to gratify. And for this scripture, God is so good. He led me to Isaiah 62, um, verse four, and it says, no longer will they call you deserted. No longer will your land be desolate, but you will be called Hephzibah in your land, Beulah. For the Lord will take delight in you and your land will be married, guys. I'm going to read that one more time. No longer will they call you deserted or your name or your land desolate, meaning desolate, guys, is barren, empty. Deserted is empty, okay? But you will be called Hepzibah in your land Beulah. For the Lord will take delight in you and your land will be married. A lot of you guys are going from emptiness, from feeling barren, for, from feeling like you couldn't produce anything, from feeling fruitless, okay, to a married land where everything he promised you is joined together, is sticking to you. Promises fulfilled, guys. He's taking you higher. He's rising you higher. Your view is going to be beautiful, but keep in mind, in that beauty, in that rising, okay, in that rising, every door presented before you, and I can't stress this enough, is not for you to walk through. Some of those doors, just like Epi, aka, aka Hepzibeth, did in the dream, she blocked that door with a desk. You will have to put a block in front of some doors because it's not for you to walk through. But God is delighting in you, okay? He's satisfying you. He's about to give you a joy that you cannot even express in words, okay? He's about to gratify you to a level that's going to make 
make you take a step back, okay? You will have many testimonies, as in many stories, guys. Keep in mind, a high rise is a building with many stories. He's saying that you are rising and you will have many stories, as in many testimonies. And I hope you guys are following me. You know God speaks to me in parables, so just follow me, guys. It is time for a lot of you guys. Your your promises are right there, but be careful in this season, okay? And in the dream, this little baby girl, and th God is so good, this little baby girl, remember, she walked to the stairs and I held on to her. I grabbed her before she can go down the stairs because I knew she would have a long fall down, okay? I knew this baby would be hurt and I had to hold on to her so she would not fall down the stairs, okay? In the dream, I realized that the baby belonged to my nephew. His name is Daquan, guys. His name means spring, S-P-R-I-N-G, okay? Spring biblically means to satisfy the desolate ground, okay? It means to begin to grow, to proceed as from the seed or cause, to arise, to appear, okay? To break forth, to issue into new sight or notice, okay? A baby in a dream is a gift. The Lord is saying your gifts are springing forth, but protect them, guys, because it's so easy for your gifts to slip from your grasp and to fall down if you're not careful, okay? Keep him in mind in every area. I don't care how good it feels, how happy you are. Do not forget how you got to this high rise, okay? Do not forget how you went from being desolate and deserted to being fruitful, okay, to being married to your promises, okay? Don't forget who got you there because all of the gifts that he's getting ready to bless you with, if you are not careful, they can fall away, okay? They can slip down the stairs and be gone just like that. Do not forget the person who's taking you to this married place, okay? Do not forget it. He is bringing forth so many areas in your life. He's bringing promised gifts to you guys, but just as quickly as he gives you those things, if you forget where they came from or forget to seek him and start like separating yourself away from him because you feel like you're in a good space, your gifts can slip away just like that, okay? Hold on to your gifts tightly, but hold on to God even tighter, okay? He's rising you up, but that does not mean for you to forget where you came from, and who brought you there, okay? A lot of you guys, and I'm I'm guilty of this in, in the past, okay? When you get to a good place, you forget. You don't pray as much. You don't seek God as much because you just feel like you're in a happy state. But the minute everything falls away, you run to God. God is saying, no, 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 you've grown from that. Okay, you stick with him when it's good and when it's bad, in the happy times and in the sad times. Every moment of your life, you need to be connected to your vine, okay? The minute you clip yourself from your vine, and I'm gonna do a word on that too, from a dream that someone else had, that's for you guys as well. But once you clip your flower from the vine, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord our God, you're just a walking dead thing, okay? You want to stay connected to him, okay? You are rising high. Your land is going from deserted and desolate to married, okay? You are springing forth in a way that you never imagined. God is blessing you with the gifts that he has promised, but do not forget about him. Do not just walk through any and every door because it looks good, okay? Seek him in everything that you do, guys. And I really want you guys to meditate on Isaiah 62, verse four, okay? Isaiah 62, verse four. Meditate on that scripture, okay? Um, that's all I have for this dream, guys. I hope it made sense. Um, I, I hope it made sense. You guys are smart. I know it makes sense. Email me your prayer request. I love you guys. And yeah, things are shifting, guys. And it's shifting faster than you can imagine. Pay attention, but do not clip away from the vine of the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? That's who supplies your, your breath, your life, okay? You need to stay connected to the true vine, okay? Jesus is the true vine. The Lord Jesus Christ is the true vine and God is the gardener. Stay connected, guys. I love you. Have a blessed rest of your day. 
Um, I may be on right after this, maybe on a little bit later. I don't know. Let's let God lead there. But I love you guys and have a blessed Wednesday. Bye.